financial assistance may create a false market perception that there are many investors are interested to buy the company share. It also refers to the assistance given by a company, whether directly or indirectly, for the purchase of its own share. There are many variety and types of assistance, and it also includes giving guarantee or loan or the provision security of the company. Company Act provides that a financial assistance that every company has it is for the purpose of the acquisition of its own share. The board of director has previously resolved that firstly, giving the financial assistance is for the company interest. Secondly, the terms and conditions on which the assistance is given are fair and reasonable to the company and to any shareholders not receiving such assistance and lastly the company will satisfy the solvency test immediately after giving the assistance. Financial assistance also may involve on asset stripping. This may happen if the fund that company have been used by the person who has obtained control of the company to compensate him for the amount that he has paid for the share. For example, in case of Keston vs SWP Group PLC. I will explain about the method to identify financial assistance transactions. Under Company Act 2016, Section 123, Subsection 1, any assistance given for the share acquire or subscribe will be considered as a financial assistance transaction. If a future shareholder acquires a share and uses it as a security, this condition will not be classified as a financial assistance transaction because it does not affect the company assets. In the case of Armour Hignorton Company, the two directors of the company were also directors of its subsidiary company which is Armour Hick Trust. Armour Hick Trust pays the debt owed by the parent company to their one of their shareholders which is Armour Hick Partners. Armour Hick Partners then transfer the shares owed in Armour Hick Norton to the two directors. This is considered as financial assistance transaction. The acquisition of shares will not happen uh, if not the directors arrange for the subsidiary company to pay off the debt for the parent company. Another condition to identify financial assistance transaction under Company Act 2016 Section 123 Subsection 1 is any loan, security or guarantee given by the company to the shareholder to acquire the share. In the case of Chung Kiao Bank Limited vs. Hotel Rasa Sayang Siang Bahad, a company which is Johor Tenggara's Siang Bahad purchased a share in Hotel Rasa Sayang Siang Bahad by using a loan from Chung Kiao Bank. In this case, the hotel agreed that the company is using the hotel asset as security in order to obtain the loan. The Supreme Court held that there was a financial assistance which was prohibited under Section 67 Companies Act 1965. Here we can clearly see that the hotel trying to assist the companies by lending its asset as security in order for the companies to obtain the loan and to purchase the hotel shares. Under Company Act 2016 Section 123 Subsection 2, if the company intend to reduce the liability or waive the debt owned by the shareholder, this will be considered as a financial assistance transaction. Besides, the reduction of company asset will also be considered as a financial assistance transaction. As an example, in most cases, financial assistance involves of reduction of asset to fund the shareholder for the acquisition of the share. In the case of Datuk Tan Leng Tech vs Sarjana Sendil Berhad, the issuance of shares were made by Sarjana to the purchaser. The plaintiff challenged that the company's property transfer was a financial assistance transaction. Uh, this is because Sarjana Sendiran Berhad transferred its asset 1 million ringgit to the purchaser to buy the shares. As a result, no cost or anything acquired by the purchaser to, to buy the shares. Uh, the court held that the financial that financial assistance transaction existed because there 
uh, the issuance of shares was not a commercial transaction. In the case of Intercore Limited versus Multipack Singapore Private Limited 1995, Intercore and Multipack are both creditor of City Carton. City Carton was insolvent and unable to pay back its debt worth up to $2.5 million to Intercore. Multipack came up with an agreement with Intercore whereby Multipack would purchase all the debt and in return Intercore will subscribe on the share of Multipack. The court held that it was not a financial assistance transaction as it is only a debt equity swap. The debt equity swap was an ordinary commercial transaction and it is not entered into solely for the purpose of acquiring or enabling acquisition of the shares. For exempted transactions, in the section 125 contract X 2016, there are several transactions that are not considered financial assistance transactions. First is where a company whose ordinary cost of business is lending money, lends money in the course of its ordinary business, this will enable banks and financial institutions to provide loans as part of their ordinary cost of business. But the loans must be provided on ordinary commercial terms. Second is where a company give financial assistance in accordance with any employees share scheme or share ownership scheme which is in force at the time for fully paid shares in the company or its holding company. Third is where a company give financial assistance to its employees or to the employees of its subsidiary to enable them to purchase fully paid shares in the company or its holding company to be held by such persons by way of beneficial of ownership. Fourth is the making of a loan or the giving of a warranty or the provision of security in connection with one or more loans made by one or more other persons by a company in the ordinary course of its business. It's regulated by any written law or subject to the supervision of the Securities Commission and where the lending of money or the giving of a, of a guarantee and the loan that is made by the company or where the guarantee is given or the security is provided in respect of a loan. In this past, I will be talking about the permitted finance system. Under the company A, 2016 is a loss the financial assistance to be given by a company other than the public company. If the assistance does not exist, 10% of the shareholder funds. Second, the basic insurance is passed by the shareholders. The, the company receives the fair value in connection with giving the financial assistance. Next, in giving the financial assistance, the company needs to fulfill the services test. The board must pass a board resource by at least 75% of the member present and put in before the financial assistance can be given. The director who approved the assistance must make a services statement. Last, the financial assistance is given no more than 12 months. Other than that, all the subsystem what mess. Consequences of Contravening Companies Act 2016 When a company is found guilty of contravening Companies Act 2016 in providing financial assistance, according to Section 123 Part 3 of Companies Act 2016, the officer of the company is held liable by default. He or she will be charged with five years of imprisonment or five uh, or excuse me a hundred thousand ringgit worth of fine or both. In this case, usually the company is considered as the victim of the breach because the act of providing financial assistance is in accordance with the companies and 
its creditors' interest. However, according to Section 126, Part 6 of Companies Act 2016, if the company failed to follow the requirements and procedures in providing a financial assistance, then both the company and the officer is held liable. In this case, they will be fined not exceeding 3 million ringgit, imprisonment not exceeding 5 years or both. If, if in a situation where they continue this offense after the conviction, then they will be charged 1,000 ringgit per day. The convicted person can be put responsible by the court to pay for the compensation to the software company or any other person. However, Section 67 Subsection 6 of the Companies Act 1965 had only allowed the company itself to recover its loss. Thus, in the case that involved damage or loss to the third party, they are unable to recover their loss. Hence, Section 67 Subsection 6 had been amended and restated in the Section 123 Subsection 5 of the Companies Act 2016 to give the local standby not only to the suffered company but also to any other person. Finally, if there is a person who are going to engage in the financial assistance transaction and had been identified by the court, the court have the power to restrain the person from engaging the transaction under Section 351 of the Companies Act 2016.